Welcome back friends. Today we will learn relation between reaction quotient and equilibrium constant. Reaction quotient is also known as mass action ratio. So what do you mean by reaction quotient? Actually if we have a reaction like A plus B to give C plus D Q is equal to C into D divided by A into B and this is called Q C. Reaction quotient in terms of concentration and if in terms of partial pressure it is called Q P. Now this Q C and Q P it is known as reaction quotient and it is used to predict whether the reaction is at equilibrium or not. Now first what is this QC? Actually if we plot a graph between concentration versus time then A and B We start with the reactants which is like this and C and D. Now at any instant of time the ratio of the concentration of products to the reactants is known as reaction quotient. And at this C, this time concentrations are constant. This is known as equilibrium, and the same ratio of product to the reactant at equilibrium is known as equilibrium constant. If we start with product, then so if here you can see that equilibrium can be established from forward side as well as from backward side. We can start with reactants as well as products. So you can see equilibrium can be achieved from right side or from left side. We can start with reactant as well as product. So now different cases are there. This is the graphical representation. If QC is equal to KC, this one. At this point of time, rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of backward reaction. So reaction is already at a equilibrium. Reaction is at equilibrium. Case 2. If QC is less than KC, this is the case, KC remains same, value of KC remains same, but QC can be greater than KC or less than KC or equal to KC. So reaction quotient, if it is less than KC, that means the rate of forward reaction is greater than rate of backward reaction because QC less than KC means still the forward reaction is faster than backward so that reaction can reach the equilibrium concentrations to reach this point because ultimately at the end of the reaction QC should be equal to KC that is equilibrium means ultimate aim of QC is to reach KC that means forward reaction is faster than backward or 
we can say reaction favors forward reaction both reaction takes place but speed of forward reaction is more than backward reaction case 3 if qc is greater than kc it means now rate of backward reaction is greater than forward reaction because now product is more than that should be at a equilibrium so backward reaction is greater than forward reaction so if backward reaction is faster than forward reaction that means backward reaction is favored in this case forward reaction is favored in this case backward reaction is favored it goes down it goes up it remains same that means no reaction is favored forward rate backward rate is same in this case forward rate is greater than backward rate in this case forward rate is less than backward rate speed of the forward reaction is greater than backward reaction if qc is less than kc speed of forward reaction is less than backward reaction if qc is greater than kc so these are the cases qc less than kc qc greater than kc so this is all about the relation between reaction quotient and equilibrium constant thank you very much for watching this video do like subscribe and share my channel for the benefit of all god bless you all happy learning thank you